In the U.S., hundreds of children in need of prosthetic limbs have been given new hope in the form of 3D printing. Due to the high cost of frequently making new fake limbs for growing kids, many were left with ill-fitting prosthetics or none at all. But now 3D printing means new and cheap prosthetics can be printed out for kids as they grow. Lee Patterson has more. From jewellery to knickknacks and even to guns, 3D printing seems unlimited in what it can produce. So it's closer to a robotic etch-a-sketch hooked up to a giant glue gun. Like one of the newest items, body parts. So this is RoboHand. What's really cool about RoboHand is it is a 3D printed replacement set of fingers for people who were either born or accidentally lost their digits. Put it down and then pick it up again. Especially for children, like this South African boy who was born with no fingers on his right hand. Clever boy. Printing a robo hand is quick and cheap, which is important for children who can grow out of their prosthetic parts as often as they do clothing and shoes. That means children seldom use traditional prosthetics because they're too expensive to reproduce so often. So adults can get nice hands made that will work for their whole lives. The intention of this is you start off with a small child and as they grow every couple of months you print out a new robo hand. Or an ear. The lobule or earlobe down here. Doctors examine this printed part made from collagen gel used as the printer's ink. So this ear is a beautiful 3D recapitulation of a patient's ear. Once printed from a series of digital photos, the collagen replica grows into cartilage. Just three months later, this becomes a workable, lifelike outer ear. And now, if you bend it, it won't break. It's stretchy. It's elastic. It's an ear. But for now, this field is limited, partially by size because blood vessels, for example, are too small to be printed. It's a pretty, you know, impressive thing to be, to see an object created where there is nothing. Um, and, you know, taking these steps further, I mean, bioprinting has immense promise, um, but that's a ways off. So we're going to hit resume, and the printer will warm back up. I like to say with 3D printing, you're limited only by your imagination. You're only limited by what you want to build. And by cost, MakerBot's cheapest printer at around $2,000 is still pricey for the average consumer.